Hello, good afternoon, and welcome. Uh, this is LagTac. I'm Dis1. Uh, we're playing Star Citizen today because it's Monday. And uh, we'll get to it in a moment. Um, actually, I realized after I started the roll um, that I need to go pee. So <laughs> I'm going to go do that uh, as soon as I get downstairs. It was one of those, you know, you start something and then you're like, oh, uh oh. <laughs> So let me get down to uh, where I can pull up a ship. I'm going to go to uh, Lorville. And, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, everybody just standing around still. Uh, these things are new. Uh, no unauthorized personnel. Uh, I think those are the spawn closets they were talking about. Uh, where employees can appear and disappear at will without having to like blink out of existence or anything like that which is kind of kind of distracting I wonder would this like be warm it's like a bunch of pipes it's like warnings everywhere too it seems bad to have that like right in the middle of a public area but what do I know <laughs> all right uh I'm going to turn the chat off because that's just kind of annoying. All right. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. Um, until then, enjoy this. Except for those people that are uh, watching the VOD because uh, you're not going to see the commercials, I don't think. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. back uh, about 30 seconds Oof. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. I need to pull up a ship. 
that I can fly to Lorville because that's the only place to get what I'm planning on getting. I think. I think I'll take the Cutlass Black. It's like the best bet ship. It's easy to land at Lorville. Um, it has the range <laughs> that I'm looking for. Uh, I'm definitely going to get a caterpillar. Uh, I might pick up. Uh, pad four, okay. Should have known that, but. Let's always put you on pad four. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can get a Mercury Star Runner too. I don't know if those are available yet or they're keeping them back just so that they can sell a few more before uh, before they they put them up as uh, purchasable purchasable in with in-game money. But if there's one available, I'm gonna get it. Just cause I haven't like actually owned one and I'd like to fly it. <laughs> if nothing else. Or I don't own one. My friend owns one and he won't even play anymore. Oh well, anyway. Oh, this needs to go. I don't know why. I think they added the atmospheric stuff in because you don't choke to death when you're not wearing a helmet and fly anymore because you did before sometimes. Um, but when they did that, it like reacts with the nebulas, the uh, gas tech apparently and causes some strange things to happen it never hurts to fill up on fuel before you go All right, let's go. Launch complete. Thank you. Please visit again. Ugh, I have to go to Lorville. I hate Lorville. I just do not like Lorville. Anybody who's watched my channel for any amount of time knows I hate going to Lorville. <laughs> it's just a pain in the ass to land there. It's ugly, it's dirty, it's oppressive feeling. <laughs> I mean, I understand they did that on purpose, but still, it's just, it's an unpleasant place to go. And if it weren't for the fact that you have to buy certain ships there, like the Caterpillar in particular, uh, I would probably find some other place to go. Unfortunately, Astro Armada doesn't carry, like, the larger ships. Just the New Deal spaceship thingy. I mean, eventually I know you'll be able to go to the planet where Drake is and actually buy it directly from Drake, but... Or, oh, Origin or, like, Anvil or whatever.
Well, anyway, so I'm going to Hurston. Because <laughs> I at least want to get a caterpillar. Just because. You know, caterpillar. I, I personally like the Drake aesthetic anyway. A lot of people don't. They just, they don't like Drake, but... I like it because it's very functional, very military feeling. <clears throat> Not a lot of, uh, I guess, ostentatiousness. No. Like, origin is, like, too, like, BMW, Mercedes, like, for me. I just, I like Drake because it's very bare bones, kind of, not necessarily cheap, but very functional feeling. So, uh, let's see, Board Gamer put up a, a video recent, uh, like, today, um, that you probably might want to check out. Um, it shows off the, all the like uh, individual components on the Gladius, which is really cool. Um, how all the little doors open up and everything, and all the stuff is in, in, you know, put inside the ship so that it, it's actually functional. There's even when he opens up the part with the shield. Um, the shield generators it like pops loose these like things on either end of them it's pretty cool so, yeah you may want to check that out up to you of course but I highly recommend it <clears throat> I have my own YouTube video up uh, I just recently published it like uh, Saturday well actually Sunday morning like at about 4 a.m. when I got done with it. Uh, it's a Peter Gray video um, about uh, uh, the updates to mining. The new interface stuff, um, the mining heads, the new mining head attachments and all that stuff. So if you want to check that out, it's on my YouTube channel. The link is below in the About Me part um, to my YouTube channel. I could use the views. That would be awesome. Uh, if you really would like to, you can also subscribe. That would be cool. And don't forget to like, because liking is what lets the algorithm know to show it to more people. So I have like three likes, and that's it. <laughs> My other video, the X4 video that I did, uh, is almost at 1,000 views. It's like 960-something right now, so... Hooray! Hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll continue to get enough views that I can make at least a thousand views off of it. Which would be cool. I'm nowhere near monetizing my YouTube channel, but um, I need to at some point. <laughs> oh yeah, Lorville's that way. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, apparently they've added wear and tear, but I mean, I don't think we're going to get uh, enough playtime in the test universe to actually get to see wear and tear. Like paint chips and stuff are going to take a little bit of time. Apparently, when you repair or something like that, you can actually get it cleaned up too, but I haven't seen that yet. Uh, frame rape job. Lorville's always been really bad about that, but usually my computer can handle it. Unfortunately, I think this is more CIG than my computer, but... Where's the city? Oh. I was going the wrong way. <laughs> Wow, the frame rate drop is like really bad. I don't know. Not sure why, but it could be any number of things. It could be internet, it could be server traffic, it could be just the way they've like added so much stuff in. Um, it could be a lot of things. Unfortunately, it's it's making it a little bit difficult to fly. Wow, that was really bad. You can change your missiles now. <laughs> Something you couldn't do before. <laughs> oh, the frame rate is horrible.
grinding gear down. I hate to increase speed because right now the frame rate is really, really bad. So if I increase speed, I may not slow down before I go crashing into something. And I kind of want to avoid that. I mean, yeah, sure, crashing into things can be fun, but, uh, uh no. <laughs> Still did it. There's always such a pain in the ass to land here. count? No? <laughs> Good enough, I guess. Oh. okay to me I got it in the square sort of uh, I'm overhanging a little bit I didn't go the right direction but oh well there it is the way out
Hopefully I can get into the spaceport before uh and store it before they uh break out and give me a crime stat. <laughs> Ah, the protest continues. All right, good enough. It stored it, so. I hate having the idea of having to take a Take off a caterpillar hey, from here. Welcome to the New Deal. The New Deal. New Deal. Right. Let's see if I can do this. Buccaneer, Caterpillar, 10 million, final balance, 10 million, oh, okay, total transaction cost, 4,686, confirm purchase, How good did that, just feel? No that felt pretty freaking good, I've always wanted a Caterpillar, so. Tumbrel, RSI, Origin. Uh, let's see. I think it's, no, it's not Origin. Crusader. Yeah, there it is. Mercury Star Runner. How good did that just feel? That felt no awesome, dude. Like a new ship. All right. I mean, I don't get to keep them, unfortunately. New deal Actually, I'm gonna buy one of these too. The so. of vessels in all of Definitely take a look around. Got some great stuff in stock. Right there. All right. Well, there's all my money. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it really matters, because it doesn't. And this is, will go away in about a week. So when they uh, when they release this update to the actual player universe, uh, Crusader. Ah, Crusader Mercury Star Runner. Hangar 7. Well, let's go to Hangar 7 and fly the Mercury Star Runner out of here. Which I hate to leave my cutlass here, but... I have to look and see how much I don't remember how much um, container space this thing has but. it has a fair amount I know it does alright do I get to fly straight out of here no I have to lift off yeah Well, at least they put you in a large hangar. Unlike the Freelancer Max, which makes no sense to me, but... Huh. 
Can't drop the ramp front here. You should be able to. There it is. Ramp access. Okay. Uh -huh. I knew it had one. Just needed to find it. This is the first time I've been on one of these, I think. Turn the lights on. Wow. Not a very big cargo hold, but good enough. Ah, <coughs> uh, it's gonna be dark. Whoa. <coughs> Up, please. <coughs> Bridge. Ah, what amazing ship. Clean interface. Systems on. Get them to open the base for me. Apparently the ATC is not talking. I see up. Well, they're apparently not opening. Wow, the view is actually really good too. Huh. Very nice. Uh, if I could take off, that'd be awesome. Launch complete. This is no good. Landing complete. Let's see if we can get him to open up. Yeah, it would appear that, um, ATC is not working. Huh. Okay, well, they need to fix that. <laughs> All right, well. It's a really beautiful ship, though, I have to say. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I'm going to go out. <coughs> Shift servers, and hopefully the ATC and one of the other servers will be working. If not, it's like an entirely game-wide thing, and I just won't be able to take off from Lorville. <laughs> I hope that's not the case. I freaking hate Lorville. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> back in. I uh, really hate the way it rearranges my screen. So I went ship shopping. Yay. Now I got to figure out something else to do. Actually, I'm going to try to run cargo for a while and see what happens. Probably using the Freelancer Max. I mean, yeah, I know I have a Caterpillar, but... I got to fly it, but not at the moment. I want to fly it, though. I, I will fly it. Just because it's an awful thing to fly. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Uh, oh, if I went out the door. <coughs> oh, yeah, it's up here. Say, don't tell me that bug's back. They step into the elevator and wind up in the void bug. Yeah. <laughs> Not cool. It's nighttime. Uh, I'll be glad when they get my like, caching and server meshing in. And like NPCs actually have things to do and don't just stand there looking like a cluster of NPCs standing there. And none of these guys are walking around. They're not going anywhere or doing anything. They're just kind of standing there. And it's uh, and standing on chairs because it just isn't the <coughs> and the server just can't handle all the NPC information and everything else all at the same time. It would be kind of cool if they could like add the NPCs to like a background server 
like kind of like eye caching would be only for NPC activity Person security reserves the right to search travelers at any time I mean they've got the the I guess like um, quantum is gonna have to be the same thing it's gonna have to be a background server that like Next stop feeds information to the actual server. game server about the economy and like the activities of NPCs and stuff like that I guess I don't know I am not a game programmer I have claimed on more than one occasion not to be a game programmer and I mean it I am definitely not I do not program if you need me to make you a 3D object, I can do that. I can do hard surface and soft surface modeling. Uh, I'm not very good at sculpting, but um, hard surface modeling I can do. I could like make this entire cart, uh, train car. It would take a while, but I can do it. Hey, bear man, what's up? Why you call me deer? That's just kind of weird. I'm suspicious. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, wow, the doors are opening like before they even get to a good stop. <laughs> so I went and bought some food. I mean, uh, ships. Food. <laughs> I went and bought some food. Uh, I went and bought some ships. About a caterpillar and a Mercury Star Runner. Oh, geez. That seems wrong. You guys do something. Go do something. Don't just stand there. It's weirding me out. Oh, well. Yeah, the NPCs are not, um, not happy at the moment. They seem to be protesting again. You miss your friend? Which friend? What friend? Me? Not me. Uh, let's see. I don't need the cutlass bike. The Mercury Star Runner. Or was it because I was like, I take two days off a week. <laughs> oh, he left this world. Oh, that's not good. Hangar 7. Again. Hopefully I can take off this time. Uh. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, wow, that thing's cool looking. Yeah, that happens.
Uh, there we go. That took a second. Yeah, I've had more than one friend pass away that I didn't get to say goodbye to. Ah, this time the door's open. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure he was okay with that. I didn't, I didn't presume, presume to speculate, but uh, I understand why you would say that. <clears throat> I haven't had, as far as I know, any friends die from COVID. But... Heart attack, cancer. I've had so many people here die from COVID. He was blown up by a Minecraft creeper or hardcore server. <laughs> okay. Oh, on a hardcore server. Okay, so he didn't really die. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> That's terrible. I thought for sure your friend had actually died. I felt bad. <clears throat> April Fool's was four days ago, dude. <laughs> I like this ship. I want one. I'm definitely going to get one. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> it's not how it works here in the United States, but... in your room <laughs> okay <laughs> fair enough <laughs> travel. like my dad always used to say my house my rules <laughs> okay that didn't work like I thought it would Or 
maybe I did go there. I don't know. Uh, yeah, what's up? I'll answer it to the best of my ability. Yeah, I do. It's a very, very large room, though. Half of it's taken up with band equipment. <laughs> uh, it's a, a double bed, I guess. Yeah. Queen size bed, actually. Yeah, it's a queen size bed. My feet hang off the end, though, because I'm like. I have like enormous feet. <laughs> the dog in oh I really hate that bug it is so freaking annoying lighting I like this ship. It's pretty cool.
Huh? Okay. Yeah, if you don't, if you're not like here to test things, then you don't really need to be here. I mean, if you want to cry about the state of the game and it's on a test server, then you need to go do something else. haven't had any problems other than the frame rate on uh, when I went into Lorville and the fact that I couldn't get the ATC to open the doors. I really haven't had any problems. Uh, people are like seriously complaining in the chat that there's a lot worse going on. Uh, I don't know. I didn't have anything to do with any of that. So. I did buy a uh, Mercury Star Runner though. They give you 15 million just like to play with so I figured I'd play <laughs> but I definitely want to buy one of these end game they're really cool I like the way it flies it's not nearly as much of a wrestling match as my freelancer max is oh my god <laughs> flying that thing is like trying to fly um, a brick I guess would be a good description a Chinook <laughs> I don't know. I knew some Chinook pilots that loved the Chinook. It was like their favorite helicopter. But from what I understand, it is not the easiest thing in the world to fly. Yeah, the, the Freelancer Max is pretty awful to fly, I have to say. <clears throat> it is definitely one of those things that takes a bit more skill than most ships. This ship basically flies itself. It was it's like super easy. Of course it didn't have any any uh load uh no uh cargo, but the cargo section isn't that big anyway. <clears throat> I think it's between the Freelancer and the Freelancer Max as far as cargo goes. I don't know. I'll have to see. It may be less than that. It doesn't... The cargo hold doesn't look that big, so... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But hopefully uh, I can work up enough cash to be able to get another an, a Mercury Star Runner. Because I like these things. Um, and I also want to get, of course, um, a, uh, a Caterpillar. How much do I have left? So I need approximately $10 million to do both.
I think one's four million and the other six million, so. That's not it. Mark L3. There it is. Port Olisar. Go! No? Oh yeah, it's still cool down. I traveled a long way. Oh. Curses. I mean that. Suddenly dropped out at quantum. The wrong place. Which means I'm being buffeted by the atmosphere of Crusader at the moment. Which isn't a real thing yet, so. That's better. <laughs> what? Oh, this is getting really frustrating. It's not, um... I hit the button, and then it doesn't do anything, so I hit the button again, and then it, like, drops me out. So I need to not hit the button again. <laughs> My own damn fault. And then that happens every time now. Nope. You can't quantum to that target. Nope. Okay, finally. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, I'm gonna land here at Port Olisar. I do like this ship though. It's fun to fly. Um. Oh, <laughs> help if I hit F instead of G. There we go. <laughs> F, not G. There we go. Yeah, the ATCs are not working correctly. I'm not sure. They're not, like, doing the voice thing at all. Landing complete. All right. I don't know if there's a way out of this ship other than the ramp. Ah, oh, bruh. Abra la puerta. There we go. Servers. Yeah, I really like this ship. It's nice. Definitely going to get one in game.
That is without a doubt one of the nicest ships I've ever flown. It just flies. It doesn't like fight you. It, it's not like a wrestling match like with the Freelancer Max. Um, it just flies. All right, let's see. By select location, six SU uh, Mercury Star Runner is 114. Um, the Freelancer Max, where is my Freelancer Max? It should be on here. One hundred and fourteen SCU. That's actually not bad, though. I think it's one hundred and twenty. Yeah, it's one hundred and twenty for the Freelancer Max. Why is my Max not showing up? So it is kind of in between the two. All right, let's give this a try. I'm gonna go with. The route I normally fly when I do cargo runs and see if it's still viable. Probably not, but I'm going to try it anyway. Listen, it is such a pleasure to fly this ship. We're sorry. Oh, dude, no. We will have to your no. Ship to storage. No. No, you do not have to return my ship to storage. I'm about to fly away. Initiating ship storage procedure. No, do not Stay store my ship. Thank you for your cooperation. Close. No, you don't need to store it. There's no traffic here. Leave me alone. Any other time you would just like you do would just sit here for freaking ever. Go. Open. Damn it. I'll get to the bridge, get in my shoot seat. Get ready to take off, and it'll it'll like store, and I'll fall down onto the deck. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, I took off before it stored my ship, at least. And this thing is just awesome, I like it. It's a lot of doors to go through, unfortunately. Oh, I forgot to raise my gear. <laughs> it wasn't very professional of me. Alright, Terran Mills. Just what I'm looking for. Uh, supposedly, they've added in the dynamic are parts of the dynamic economy, so...
So it's not just arbitrary now that they set the prices and there's very little deviation from those prices. Apparently part of the dynamic economy has been added in. Uh oh, we'll see. I don't know. I hope so. That would be awesome. Part of the reason I'd quit running cargo was it just was it was just it felt like you weren't doing anything. You were just moving stuff for the sake of moving it, not actually moving it to do anything or change anything or affect anything just to move, make money. And then like a lot of times you'd come in behind a uh, like somebody with a caterpillar and there would be nothing there, just nothing. There's like a cloud over there. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, really? Ah, oh, really? <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it. All right. Oh, now I'm outside all of them for some reason. Huh. Well, that wasn't um, frustrating or annoying or anything. I don't want to die. Hmm. Okay. Didn't kill me. <laughs> well, it might. <laughs> Okay. All right, cool. I didn't die. Can I get out of here? Probably not. There's no way to mantle out of here. Might have to die anyway. Oh. Yeah, you're not ever supposed to be here, apparently. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, well. Oh, dead. <laughs> Everest Harbor? Harrison? Why am I here? This doesn't look like Everest Harbor. This looks like it is. It's uh, Port Olazar. Yeah. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> All right, well, this has been an adventure or a misadventure or something like that. Thank you for opening. Mercury Star Runner, unknown. Yeah, maybe it'll let me retrieve it and I won't lose my cargo. Maybe. Convenience, our automated ship organization system handles storage of all vehicles. To access your craft, 
Doesn't look like it. Nope. Um, did it, did it bring it anyway? No. Okay. Things are not working correctly, to say the least. I mean, I'm not mad, but it just seems like. Yeah, it has 114 cargo on it. I'll try it one more time. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. And I don't think it'll let me claim it either. Pisces Expedition. Why is it stored at... Uh, oh, yeah. I think I flew it there. Yeah, it won't, it won't let me... Uh, won't let me claim it either. I get the Drake Caterpillar. Why does it have five? Oh, okay. Never mind. I have two Cutlass Blacks for some damn reason. Sometimes they get duplicated. Uh, well, let's go ahead and pull up the Caterpillar. Did it bring it? Yeah, it actually did. Okay. Uh, Drake Caterpillar. Agricultural supplies. Why does that stick to your cursor? Got it. All right. Well, I got a caterpillar full of agricultural supplies. Abra la puerta. Can I come shoot shit with y'all? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't want to go that way. I want to go zero zero. I rarely have to go out this way because I don't. Have, I want to own a ship big enough for a large pad. And the biggest thing I own is the Freelancer Max, which is supposed to be the biggest thing that can go through a small uh, um, jump gate. So, this thing is enormous. That's what she said to me. Oh, wait. <laughs> Nothing like being crushed to death by your own elevator. See what I tell you? Oh, it's not good. Everest Harbor? No, I'm not at Everest Harbor. Hostile acts will not be tolerated. I didn't do anything. I accidentally killed myself with my ship. <laughs> Is 
Is it still out? Or did they store it? Yeah, crime stat were accidentally killing myself. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> well, not really. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but... Uh, Drake Caterpillar. <clears throat> See if I can get this to work. That would be awesome. D zero zero. Uh, things are not going well. All right, this time, um, get the hell out the way when I drop these. Those some, like, massive engines. Oh, it's partially out. going to be that kind of a pain in the ass. Got any merits? What are merits? It's a Buddhist thing. Go make merit with the monks. I thought there was another way in. Apparently not. Yeah, I thought there was like another way to get in this thing. Like a, like a crew thing, not just a big cargo thing. Oh, well, I guess I have to go back inside. Yeah, I thought there was like a crew ladder here somewhere. Not a ladder, but like uh, another like elevator, kind of like on the um the Connie. Nope, I guess not. All right, then I have to go like respawn this thing. So uh, I guess I'll do that. <laughs> um, while I'm doing that, uh, enjoy this. Yeah, ad break for those of you that are watching the VOD. <laughs> Autocorrect.
All right, go ahead and store this thing. <clears throat> and then retrieve it again. That should reset the... That should reset the elevator, so hopefully. All right, let's try this one more time. <laughs> I love this game. Oh, really? Really? You gotta be kidding me. I stored it and brought it back again and it's still messed up. Okay, well, the only other thing I can do is go back out and restart the game. And if this continues to give me headaches, um, I'm just going to go play something else. Oh. Might as well let that do what it's going to do to my screen before I rearrange it. Or not play anything and just make a video. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Well, hopefully this resets my Mercury star on her too. That would be nice. Because I really enjoyed flying that ship. I like it. It's nice. It's actually fun to fly. Not sure what that noise was. <laughs> well, it's not like somebody dropping a bucket. <laughs> We're sorry. Nope. That didn't reset. Damn it. I mean that because I really like flying that ship. Now I can't fly it. Please 
Hopefully they'll update the game and What? It is not. Select a different ship. All right, well, it's not like this place is busy. Bastards. <laughs> oh, geez. Try it again. All of our landing areas are currently full. Please hold for assignment. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, this is not working. Yeah, we'll look close. So yeah, um, cargo running is right out. <laughs> uh, can I get an anvil arrow? I'm scared to bring it up though, because it may not ever come back up again. We're sorry, all our landing areas are full. I like the anvil arrow, but, um, wow. All right. Well, it looks like Star Citizen is right out until they can patch it. Oh, now there's a Drake Caterpillar and an anvil arrow out there. So now I am very confused. <laughs> the hell was that? Huh? Somebody doesn't know how to land. <laughs> Warning. You are blocking an active flight bay. Please vacate the facility. I am not act blocking an active flight bay. Wow, okay. Well, there's my caterpillar. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Get out here and it disappears. <laughs> of course. What? The elevator's still stuck? For your safety, please vacate Oh, okay. Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, I know. Well, all right. Vehicle impounded parking violation. You are blocking an active flight bay. Please vacate the vicinity. All right. Well, this has all been very frustrating. I'm about to rage quit. <laughs> yeah, like I do that. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, hang on, I'll fly it out of here and then land it if you want. Boop. Bye. <laughs> Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> of course. Um, it didn't give me a fine, did it? No. Uh. 
Yeah, they need to uh, do some things. Oh, it gave me another parking violation. What? Oh. Uh, total fine zero. All right, well, it didn't give me any fines. And no, uh... All right, well, whatever. <laughs> well, um... None of the things that I wanted to do happened, so. Oh, there's where your fine is. C7, huh? All right, let's go to, uh, uh, Crusader L1. Maybe I can claim both ships. Oh, this this whole thing's cool. It's actually fun to fly too for I mean it's a light fighter, but Oh, we're on. Thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Um, oh, I hate that. All right, well. Yeah, the only other way I can think to fix those two ships is to, like, claim them on another, like, spaceport. That'll force it to, like, redo the ships themselves, and I'll actually be able to fly them. Hopefully.
At least that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, you never know. Especially with test server. Yeah, they need to fix this too, making it so that like, and, and I think it's because the they're trying to add the atmosphere, uh, atmospheric rooms. Although I'm not sure about that, and it reacts somehow with the cloud tech. I don't know, but it makes it so you can't hardly see. And if you go outside the ship, you can see where it is. I think it's because of the atmospherics, but I'm not entirely sure about that. All I know is it makes it super foggy as hell to, in, inside the cockpit and really hard to navigate. And yes, this is a thing. <laughs> it only happens inside of places that have nebula. Or gas clouds or whatever you want to call them. Um, but man, does it make it hard to fly. Without, oh, I need to make sure I don't hit that. Normally I'd be able to see that sort of stuff, but like right now you can't see it. Oh, you can see it, but like only right before you almost hit it. Landing gear deployed. Complete. Okay, cool. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. See, it goes away as soon as you get outside the cockpit, too. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. But it makes it hard to see as hard as hell to see where you're flying. Going to the lobby. Where do we come up with that word? Lobby. To describe a place that's the central central courtyard for like all kinds of stuff. The hotels. The hotel lobby. The restaurant lounge lobby. Restaurant lounge lobby? Hmm. No. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to, I need access to the terminal. Terminal. That sounds bad too. Terminal. That's what Atlanta used to be called. It was called Terminus. A little bit of history for you. Uh, go ahead and store the ample arrow. 
Uh, Crusader Mercury Star Runner. File claim. Mm. Yeah, I'll pay the expedited fee. Jake Caterpillar. File claim. This one I'm not worried about so much. All right, uh, that means I need to give it some time. Might as well go eat a burrito. Need to kill some time? Eat a burrito! <laughs> that doesn't really, um, no. I like how the burrito just kind of appears in midair. <laughs> it just kind of shows up. <laughs> and you catch it. Aw. Really? You used to could hold the thing down and they changed it. I just drank it with a cap on. <laughs> uh. You used to could hold the left mouse button down and you could drink the whole thing. But now you can't. All right, that's somewhat annoying. I put it in the bin. There's a, there's a terminal here. I'm guessing this is for cargo. It looks like a cargo area, so. Part of the new cargo system, I'm hoping. Because <laughs> it needs a new cargo system. I mean, they seriously need a new cargo system. It definitely needs updating. Oh, wow. The NPCs are actually walking around. It'll be really cool when they can walk up to the to the kiosk and like pull up a ship and then Crusader Mercury Star Runner one minute <coughs> one minute left dee 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 Dude, what's with the mop? Oh, I love my mop. I rub it on my face. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> A little weird. Kind of wacky. A little crazy. The Midnight Bard. Okay, I should be able to get my ship now.
We're sorry. That ship is unavailable at this time. Oh, pad 10. Forgot my helmet. <laughs> Oops. Okay, well, that's better. Yeah, <clears throat> in my day, we didn't have any fancy smancy indicators to let you know. When, uh, where you could open the door at, we had to search around and search around until we finally found the damn thing. <laughs> no, really, that happened. <laughs> Servers. Cerberus. Cerberus? Cervix. Oh, wait, no. No. Not, no, no. What is that? Anyway. Oh! Uh oh. Looks really bad in here. I don't know. I don't know why it does that. I... Yep, every one of them does it though. It's something to do with the cockpit, apparently. The lighting in the cockpit. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Why is it? Why is it doing this? A journey worth taking. Systems on. Uh, okay, thanks. Launch complete. And that's Crusader. Yeah. Okay. So I thought. That's where you were made, ship. Engage. Only we can't go there yet because they haven't added it. I'm going to go home and rethink my life. <laughs>
Oh yeah, cooldown. <laughs> wow, that's a long cooldown for him. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, I like this ship. I want one. Open that? I guess I did. I guess I could have gone a little bit further forward. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do this and actually get away with it. Without some game problem going wrong. You know, like if like somebody hijacks me or you know, steals my ship or something like that, then that's a little different, but Beautiful, I think.
We're sorry. You have exceeded the allotted time to depart. We'll no. Return your ship to storage. No, you don't. You don't need to do that. There's no traffic here. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Access. Okay. Not Hila. Boy, I like the way this thing flies. Let's see if we can actually make it to the destination this time instead of just like getting ejected and dying. Uh, Galiente Family Farms. Uh, go to Terra Mills. Drop some altitude. This thing freaking hauls ass, too. Which is kind of nice. Oh, really? <sighs> Alright, well, I quit. That's all there is to it. I'm not going to play this right now. They need to patch it first before I can do anything else with it. <sighs> Alright. It's just not worth it. Well, that's it for today. Um, I do apologize. Star Citizen is not in a, in, on the test server, at least is not in a position where I can actually play and uh, actually show off some of the cool things about it. So uh, if you're watching, I appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry it's so short today, but it is what it is. I'm going to go make an intro for something. And uh, 
enjoy the rest of my day because uh, this has been pretty frustrating. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, I will see you again tomorrow when I will be playing Battletech. Uh, the day after that, of course, is uh, Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Uh, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Uh, this week's random game is uh, Medieval Dynasties, because I haven't played it in a while, and I know that a lot of people like it. So, uh, And then, of course, X4 on Friday. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you to the people who subscribe and the people who follow me and just plain people who watch. I really, really appreciate it. I'll see you again, and thanks. Thank you.